Hi, and welcome back to yet another unboxing video. And today we have The Crew, The Quest for Planet One by Cosmos Games. Let's take a look at this. Love the artwork. Very stylish and cool. That's Cosmos, sorry, by Thomas Singh. All right, flip this over and see what it's about. So we got three to five players, ages 10 and up. Play time is about 20 minutes. You get strategies about a four out of five and teamwork is a five out of five. With two player variant, the crew quest for planet nine. Astronauts wanted. Scientists say there is a mysterious ninth planet located at the edge of our solar system. But despite all of their efforts so far, they have been unable to provide substantial evidence of its existence. Join this exciting space adventure to find out if the theories are just science fiction or if you will discover Planet Nine. In this card game, you will need to complete 50 different missions as you travel across the solar system, but you will only succeed if you can work together as a team to master the challenges and achieving your mission. Communication will be essential, but in space, things can be more challenging than expected. It's a cooperative trick-taking card game. Content, 45 large cards, which are playing cards, 36 color cards, four rocket cards, five large reminder cards, 36 small cards, task cards, 16 tokens, 10 task tokens, five radio communication tokens, one distress signal token, one commander token, one rule book, and one log book. Game came out in 2020. All right, so let's crack this bad boy open and see what we got inside. Now for a card game, the rule book is pretty thick, but at the same time, this side is the log book, which tells you all, if I'm not mistaken, yep, tells you all the 50 missions that you're gonna go on. All right. And obviously, the it's scaled, so your first missions are simple, so you get to understand the rules and you understand how to play the cards. On the flip side, what happens is that it starts getting harder obviously as the numbers start to increase. But on the front, you know, okay, so that's your back side of the book. Your front side of the book is obviously the rule book that says start reading here from start playing from page 11. So it's quick get in, get out. And okay, game materials we went over already. Kind of tells you what's going on. Ages 10 plus. We talked about this already on here. Cooperative, mission based, trick taking game. This is applicable for both colors, all colors, explains what the cards are. A lot of examples of how to play the game. How to communicate. Mission preparation, mission sequence. How to set up your deck of cards for a four-player game. For 18 in question, it's for quest or mission number 18 in the logbook, not a quest, but a mission. Okay. So the person who has the four rocket goes first. And it's the commander of the mission. You choose a task card. Okay. And there it is. It kind of tells you exactly what to do if the task is fulfilled. Let's go. Help mechanic. Distress signals. So by page 11, you're playing the game. Distress so signal token. It's active or inactive. Explanation of symbols in the logbook. So tasks. First task, second task, third, fourth, fifth. Okay. Tasks, then tells you about the cards. Mission specifies to use three task cards as well as task tokens one and two. Usually the tokens have to be placed next to each other, one, two. Then the task cards are drawn, placed next to each other. Okay. Lots of pictures and explanations, as I said. Dead zone, disruption, commander's decisions. Commander's distribution, claim of five players, 
playing with two players. Okay, tips and variants. Challenges for three. The author, Thomas Singh. All right, so it's 22 pages basically of instructions. And then again, you've got the epilogue and all of the missions, which is basically 22 pages of missions. So let's take a look at the first mission just so you get a general flavor for what it says here. Congratulations, you have been chosen from a vast array of applicants to participate in the most important and dangerous adventure that mankind has ever faced, the search for Planet Nine. You barely arrive at the training facility before you have already begun your first training phase, team building. So as they get going along, they get a little harder. So let's, I'm gonna go to the last one, but let's go a little bit deeper into the book. Let's go halfway mark 25. You've reached Saturn and paused to admire the magnificent, magnificent spectacle of the rocky rings that constantly evolve around, revolve around it. It is not without reason that they call it the ringed planet. Almost apathetically, you focus solely on the onboard analysis and collapse and exhaustion. Because of the dead zone, you won't be disturbed. If you are playing with five, you can now use the additional rule for five crew members. There's your expectations. Two tricks with number 26. A loud bang interrupts your introspective mood. Two space rocks that were in the vicinity of Saturn have torn holes in your ship's hull. The onboard analysis module has immediately sealed off the effects storage area. Both rocks are still stuck in the shell of the hull. You must carefully remove them without further increasing the damage done. At least two color cards, each with a value of one, must win one trick each. Okay, winning a trick, if you if you don't know about um, gambling at all, trick is basically you win the hand. So, so you know, it's got, if somebody puts down a one, next person puts down a three, Next person puts down a nine. Let's just play a four player game, nine. And the last person puts a seven down. Now you put the last card down, doesn't mean you're the winning card. It's the person who put down the largest number, which would be the nine, and then they would win that hand or win that trick as they say. Now that's based upon if that's just a normal hand. Now, if there's a rule set that's in here, one of the missions it's, it might say, the lowest card wins the trick. So if you threw the one down, you would win, all right? So that's the basic explanation of what trick means. All right, so you see you got your pink cards, your green cards, uh, your blue cards. All of them go up to a maximum of nine is the highest. Of course, the artwork on them are spectacular, really cool. All, I believe all the fronts of the cards are all the same, again, Nice thick card, so they won't bend easily, they won't stain easily. They're pretty straight. There's a seven, there's a nine. Number three, number one. So it's a lot of art in this, five. So let's see, are all the nines the same? Yep, all the nines are the same. So all the cards are gonna be the same depending on what number it is. So the four should all be the same, the fives. Let's make sure. Let's make sure there's a five, a three, let's see a three there in blue. Yep, flip them side. Yep, it's the same, it's just a different color. All right, so that's some of these cards here. You got that. Get the general just what that's going on there. You've got your mini cards. Back, fronts are all the same. Let's take a look at the backs. One by one, two, two, three, three, two, two. One, one, you get it. Again, the arts are all the same. Again, these are the mission guards. Okay. Then you got a couple of these cards, which are different. You got this on the back side of it and this on the front side of it. Not sure what those are used for. Some may say it looks like an egg or it could be an asteroid. Not sure exactly what it is. So we'll put 
cut over there. But you got one, two, three, four, five of those. Okay. It sort of says five what? That would be five. Oh, those are the reminder cards. That's what they're called, reminder cards. Okay. And of course, you've got your tokens. Communication tokens. You've got a green one. You've got a red one. Oh, red and green. Should I say red on the front, green on the back? So there you go. One's used, one's not used. Three with nothing on the back. Got number two. Number five. That's the order of importance. Pointers. Some more communication. That's the base to the commander. There's your commander. You are in charge of the mission, so put that like that. Stand him up over there. There you go. Not in use. In use. Okay, order of importance numbers. Communication. Again, the red and green. One recommend that's on, one that's not being used. Again, pointers. That's a four. Sign and another point. So they got they got a bag for everything. So and that ends another unboxing. This time the crew, the quest for Planet Nine. Thank you for joining us. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day and your evening. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like. If not, we'll catch you on the next video. Be safe, be well, and enjoy the remainder of your day.